Hey guys, so this will be a collection update. I've had quite a few people ask for me to do one. Uh, last one I did was uh, in October or November, I believe. Uh, it's been quite a while. Um, a lot of people have been asking for one. So, finally got some time to go and make one. Probably won't, I won't go through every model, but will show everything um so yeah we'll just kind of jump right into it so start down here little top con figure my t880s and one ct660 uh, this isn't the new a new t880 uh, i still have to get a drop axle for it still kind of debating on what i want to do with this one uh custom T880 with a east dump bed, then two others just with triaxles, of course the CT660, International, 540, the fly jib, some other parts, exhaust, headache rack, some other buckets. Here's the cranes, uh, you got the LR1300 right here. Uh, one thing I didn't I've done since the last video I painted the hook block red since the fictional company is basically based on red so I thought that looked kind of cool 4100 and 5500 sorry about the lighting I need to get a better crane display they're just kind of down next to the rest of it but it works for now until I, I want to get a build a table to basically fit the corner here so been wanting to do that but hopefully this summer I'll get around to that up there is the Oshkosh P series some more Oshkoshes Freightliners this one I'm selling uh, this one as of when the video is up it is a pending sale so if you're interested let me know I might sell one of the revolution mixers too <clears throat> WA 500 is, goes and normally goes right there it's somewhere else which I'll show you after a while other loaders track loader 850k is pending a sale too but I would be looking to sell that also and here's another one, um, D6K, just kind of bring it down here. I added some GPS pods off the D6T. See, I plugged them into the front of the dozer there. I really like how this looks. It's basically modeled off one I've seen in my area, so that's where I got the look from. But I really like how it turned out. I think it looks pretty cool. Crane over here, 631, Potain. Uh, one thing I did add since the last one is these lights. I did have these originally on all my shelves for a while. Um, I put them back on this one just since I like the, I primarily collect excavators as besides trucks. So I thought I'd show those off a little more than just having them sitting basically in a dark shelf but here's one that I'm I'm finally calling a, officially finished it's this custom 320 DL that I've been working on for almost two years now basically um, again I finally decided I'm done with it now uh, added a 3d printed hammer uh, also some auxiliary lines and piping and of course for the hammer I really like how it looks it looks like an excavator that would be put through this kind of work some abuse and everything but I think it looks really nice happy to finally call this one done here's another one I'm working on that is not done it's a 330DL um, 336E stick and bucket um, 
it's on there right now and just until I get another stick um, I'm actually gonna get another stick for 336 too but right now it's just kind of mocked up um, I painted the counterweight red on this one just to try it I'll try and get it kind of a better lighting here yeah I kind of painted the I painted the counterweight red just to try something different it doesn't look terrible but it's far from my best work um, I don't think I'll do it on any other excavators but I might we'll see but this was one of the ones that had the shear on it uh, the shear has since been removed and I actually don't even have the shear anymore but that's what it looks like for now until I get another stick. 336D, this one again I'm also getting another stick for. Um, and then this one's pretty much done too also. I'll probably do some auxiliary lines or something in the future but I'm not sure. 336E, this one I added a cab guard on now. Um, I might get a different shear for it that I'll probably add lines to it either this one or another one if I get it. another one I'm still kind of deciding but it looks nice so far here's a newer one it's another North Scott 336E I prefer the North Scott excavators over the diecast masters ones but just me see I have two North Scott ones now another diecast masters one the CCM 349 470 and 374 in the back again that's just kind of sitting there and taking lines off it and everything so down here to the yard um, new addition I just added a little board to go over the actual um, wood surface to kind of make it look more like a paved yard some grass and trees I'm going to eventually get a sign put there uh, flatbed. This stuff's pretty much been in all the other updates. Possibly going to sell that 430. Here's a newer one, the Komatsu 613 Telehandler. That's a really nice model. Just kind of got it down here for like a uh, unloading and loading trucks in the yard. Some other attachments. Bobcats. 4100 fully extended just the main boom WA500 and another newer addition another Kenworth T880 tractor <clears throat> uh, this one I added a new headache rack to and custom fenders I'm still gonna put a uh, fender over the lift axle since it looks a little odd just having the axle there but I do like how it looks for now um, also probably gonna put the air and brake lines in it at some point but just kinda nicer truck now it's pulling the beam trailer right now which I really like how it looks with it <clears throat> <clears throat> so that's pretty much all the collection um, try and put you guys down some somehow yeah that's pretty much all I have for the collection right now um <clears throat> I've been I know I've been pretty I've been slacking quite a bit with YouTube videos um just to be honest I just haven't had time to do it and kind of haven't really had the ambition I guess to make a full video but I know you guys like the collection video so I thought I'd make one um, but I, I want to do some reviews also um, I know I still have to make one of the 1300 uh, I did make one of the T880 with the east bed on it that's on the channel if you want to go check that out I'll probably make one of this this Kenworth when I'm done with it or just a showcase or something probably one of the 330 or 320 maybe another one too but um not entirely sure 
And just, I guess, kind of when I feel up for it, make a couple. I might make one after this. Or we'll see. But that's pretty much collection stuff. <clears throat> there are, I do have a couple custom things in the works still that I haven't got back yet. But when I get those, I'll definitely make an unboxing of those. That's another thing I've been slacking on is unboxings. I haven't made one of those for quite some time now. I think the last one was the 1300 when I got that was the last unboxing, but I want to make a couple more of those. Again, just haven't been ambitious enough to. <clears throat> but that's pretty much that. Um, I hope to be getting some more videos of equipment, either working or just pictures here in the coming weeks they're tearing up they're tearing down a hotel like 20 30 minutes away from me uh this month they're starting it so i hope to go down and get some videos and pictures of that um i was actually going to this weekend when this video goes goes up on uh sunday which is when i'm recording it I was going to go down there, but just didn't have time to. Um, but yeah, that should be pretty cool to see. Hope to get some pretty cool pictures and videos there. <clears throat> um, I guess another thing I'll bring to attention, I guess, if any of you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, really, sh you really should. I, I'm basically active on that every day I try to be um anyway if you're on Instagram I changed my account name to burden photography um it's kind of I guess I kind of just started like an amateur photo business I guess you could say um don't really know the proper term to word it by but just kind of I guess I don't want to say higher quality work, but primarily just equipment on it. Um, I've been debating on if I want to, if I'm going to make like a said diecast page or not. Um, I'm still kind of thinking through that or what I want to do with that. But if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. I'd love to hear them. And then I guess another thing, I'm probably going to be changing the YouTube channel name at some point um probably not the not to the same name as the instagram page but probably something just a little more basic than just heavy equipment stuff since i'm posting quite a bit of die cast related stuff so probably change that maybe in the month or so if i again get around to more youtube stuff but that's pretty much that uh we're at 13 minutes now um was trying to keep it a little shorter but um but yeah again uh the stuff i mentioned that's i'm possibly looking to sell or whatever if you're interested let me know um <clears throat> again well i'm gonna try and start putting more videos up on youtube here i'll probably make at least one review right after i get done recording this of something have that up in the next day or so but that's pretty much it for now guys so again if you're not following me on instagram or on uh, my Flickr page be sure to do that again i post on instagram i try to post at least once a day uh sometimes more sometimes less it just kind of depends on if i have anything to post but be sure to follow me on there and also Flickr for all my other equipment photos That'll do it for this collection update, guys, so thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.